All right, Rainmaker 0909 here. I did finish up my cell. Between each one of these sets is a real thick gasket. Okay, that's a separator gasket. This is more like uh, what that Bob Boyce guy did, but it's uh, not quite because I couldn't get the... Once I took the rod out to try and put the tube in, it, I couldn't get it back in. Evidently, these had compressed enough that I couldn't get it back in. So those are the negatives. The positives are on the, on the other side. It works pretty well. As you can see, it's, it's leaking water past it, so it is making that foam. It's been running for approximately two hours. And that's all the hotter it is. For whatever reason, it must be the way it's built. It just doesn't get hot. The output's not all that great right now. It's completely green. I just sanded the plates before I turned it on about two hours ago trying to get it heat up. Right now it says it's 110 degrees. And I believe it. The cell measures 105. I'm going to shoot the can just to make sure. 100, 106. Like I said, it just doesn't get hot. Basically what it is is it's four separate cells because I have that divider plate in there. The only thing that is let through is the water. The hole started out as a quarter of an inch. It ended up more like an eighth of an inch. That's why I couldn't get the quarter inch piece down it. And they're only sixteenth of an inch apart. That takes a really small drill bit and the tolerances are so close that I'm not sure that I could get it. So I just went ahead and put this tube where normally it would be like on that smack guys did it, then I just put a then I just put a line to it. So it's probably not as good as his or theirs, but it still works out pretty good. I'm hardly getting any steam out of it. There's not enough to talk about. What I will do is I will uh, show you the volts. And this is what's amazing. 13.2 13, two, 13 two on the volts. Now we check the amps. Hold it. Look at that. 13.4 amps is going to this cell. Now on the downside, it's not making a ton of gas either. But the temperature's not going up. This little jumper here is because I had a bad contact right here. You divide 11 amps into four. This wire actually is big enough, even though I wouldn't use a smaller wire. Like I said, there's four individual cells. One, two, three, four. The positives are on the other side. The negatives are on this side. It goes positive. Negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. So theoretically, everything's going that direction. I'm going to do a test. Like I said, it's, it's kind of slow. It doesn't produce a lot of gas, but it also doesn't produce a lot of steam. So I don't, I think it's a little more accurate as far as the HHO versus the steam. Steam's easy to make. But hydrogen isn't, so this tube is solid, rock hard. This tube is hard, which on my last videos it wasn't. With the other cell, this tube was pretty pliable. The outlet tube, yeah, it's going to be because it's 120 degrees, and this is cheap tubing. It is warm on the inlet side. Like I said, there's approximately an eighth inch hole going all the way through, so there, there's not a lot of surface area. The hole itself is a quarter of an inch, but I'm pretty sure the gasket has mashed down so that it, there's not a lot of uh, bleed over.
I mean, no clock. We're going to go three, two, one, start. Three, two, one, start. And like I said, it's not as fast as the other one put out. But the other one at two hours running 150 to 60 degrees. This one's running what? 110? You know, whatever our figures were. The TI reads the center, and we're reading the outside. So there's going to be a little bit of difference. Okay, we're coming up on it. Like I said, it's very slow. Okay. 35 seconds. And that sounds like a lot. I mean, it's a lot of time. So it's making almost a liter a minute. The deal is it's drawing no volts, no amps. We're still getting output. We're not getting near the smoke. After two hours, you know that they tend to get a little bit hot and you get a lot of, of uh, condensation. So I guess that's it. I got to go. Bye.